catfish is one of those southern delicacies almost everyone loves. And when one restaurant earns a reputation for serving some of the best catfish, well, people go out of their way to try it. Here's Rob again taking a detour off Interstate 40 near Memphis to try the house specialty at Braden Station. Trains pass through the community of Braden pretty regularly on their way to and from Memphis, and there's another steady stream into town, people coming to eat at Braden Station. Co-owner and chef Terry Graves says they're on the prowl for catfish and... We get our oysters in fresh every week. And our customers tell me they're the best in the world. Well, that's bold talk, but the crowds agree and here they even get a bit of an unusual drive-through business. Every so often we'll have the train stop. They'll come in and eat the buffet. We've got a switch track about a mile and a half down the road and they'll come in and eat. They've got about an hour and a half layover. About a month ago we had three of them called the order in to go on the cell phone. Stopped the train on the tracks, ran in to get it, then went back. Oh, that's good. So we, we get several trains a month here. Trains and people have been coming to this building a long time. It was built in 1908 by the C.T. McCrellan Company. It used to be a general store, it used to house the bank, the post office, they even had a branch of the library where you come in, the customers order a certain book they wanted, and a couple of weeks later, the bookmobile would come by, drop the book off, and you'd check it out and then check it back in. The place was in sad shape a few years ago when Terry Graves' in-laws, George and Joanne Jensen, decided to take a drive out from Memphis, and fate took a hand. When we left home that morning, I wanted to know where Braden was. You hear it on the weather, it, you know, this is happening in Braden. We'll just go out there, babe, and we'll see it. And he came around that corner down there and saw this building and a for sale sign. That was it. Two weeks later, we had this building. Of course, having a historic building can mean a lot of things. Like a wonderful old safe put in in 1908. The building actually built around it as the strong box of the bank that was here. And then there's the elevator about which the original owner of the building used to say, this is the best elevator in Fayette County. It was the only elevator back then. Oh, yes. This, this is down and this is up. All right. And, uh, Oops. Well, is that still the best ele elevator in Fayette County, you think? I don't know. It, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> but having a historic building also means we have to fix this place up, which is just what the Jensen family did. Lucky George is a builder by trade, and that his daughter, Kim Graves, helped take on the decorating. I call it our finer dustables, <laughs> because we, my mother and I, have to dust this place. It's kind of eclectic, but it's, you know, a collection of stuff that my mother had in her attic. Uh, people have given us some stuff. For a short time before we converted the building, there, there was a woman that had an uh, antique consignment shop and she left some stuff, so some of it came from that. Uh, there's also a place in Tipton County called The Hub that's a resale shop, and my best friend works there, and she found some stuff, so we have just kind of a collection of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother's sewing machine is sitting down there, and uh, my grandmother died when I was 10 years old, but when I was about seven or eight, she was letting me uh, sew on the sewing machine. All the things here have to be kept spick and span, but that's okay. The place came with ladders, and the lady who doesn't mind climbing them in pursuit of that dastardly dust. What I really like is that the uh, shelves are original to the building, and the like library ladders are still on there. When we dust, I get the lower shelves. My mother hangs off the library shelf. Okie dokie. Mother, please be careful. I will. I'm going to spray. Yep, 
That's Kim's mom, Joanne, up there on the ladder. It's a family effort here. Everybody pitching in, with Terry really concentrating on his specialty. I just love to cook. Love to cook. Good thing, because it's a lot like a balancing act back in the kitchen, trying to make certain everything comes out just the way Terry's grandpa would have liked. The way I've been cooking it all my life. My grandfather cooked that way, and I just cooked the same way he showed me. Out in the restaurant, the orders come quickly. The buffet line does a brisk business for the catfish and oysters and vegetables, and you gotta have dessert. We got apple cobbler, homemade apple cobbler and peach cobbler, and they brag about the cobblers. Do they? Yeah. What's good about the cobblers? What do you like about that? We put a lot of butter, butter and sugar on the crust. And that butter and sugar would make some good. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Oh yes, believe Terry. The cobbler, all the food, the people, the place itself, all leave you with a very warm feeling, which is just what Kim Graves says her family wants guests here to feel. I want them to be comfortable, and I want them to be down home and themselves and folksy, you know. Yes, ma'am, folksy, like the Fayette County community of Braden itself, and the restaurant that shares its name, Braden Station. Thank you.